Hey guys, I'm Ryan. And I'm Mac. Uh, we did the sounds for Tales of Zale uh, on YouTube by Hikarian. Uh, so, literally, this was a pretty small animation in terms of what needs to be done for sounds. Um, mm -hmm. The score was for the film was done by Matthew Pablo, a friend of mine who actually uh, got us this uh, opportunity. Um, and the audio post was done by another friend, uh, Nick Standing, uh, from the UK. Um, and I guess we'll just go right into this. Um, cool. So, basically what we did for this is, since there's two of us and we're working remotely, Mac is up in Orlando and I'm in more southern Florida and yeah. you had to, you were in Pennsylvania yeah, for some no, of the time. Yeah, no, actually for most it. of the work I was doing, I was actually up in Pennsylvania uh, over so, the holidays. Yeah, so I guess we were... <laughs> I, I, it wasn't it wasn't easy for us because you, you had internet problems and stuff uh, too. Yeah, and... I don't even have to get started on the list of <laughs> of network issues that I was having. But did yeah. you have to go to like McDonald's or something for like to send some of the files? I, I had I had to go to a few like cafes and stuff in town gotcha. because uh, yeah, we were it was a nightmare. Yeah, we had some uh, we had some trouble and that kind of delayed our. Unfortunately, we we. We we got pretty delayed on this because of like I, I had problems too at my with in my uh, area. It was fine though. Sif the animator was cool with it. Uh, yeah, it seemed very so, lenient, so it was really cool. Very nice of her. <laughs> uh, the so what we did was since we're working remotely, we decided to split up the sounds by the the two main characters, Elva and Zale. Um, so I decided I did the sounds for Elva. Uh, literally everything that involved her mm -hmm. and then you did mac did the sounds for zale yes so, all the footsteps <laughs> um, so and, oh and then you also did then i guess we split up the ambiences yeah i mean you know, uh, all the background stuff noises there. um so um <clears throat> i guess uh this is probably gonna be a shorter episode because there's not like it's it's not very complicated sound design wise mm -hmm. um was there was there anything for you that was like particular anything like that was kind of difficult or anything I, I that mean, like I mean I guess like the the most difficult thing um it, not even even really difficult it was more just tedious was syncing all of the footsteps um yeah. I mean really that was it I mean you know the field you know the field recording that was that was fun um the yeah. the intro uh little sound design elements in there yeah. that was pretty cool oh, yeah, yeah go ahead and talk about that a little bit um the, that was what you did for the intro uh, the intro is kind of like a dream sequence and uh, in the beginning you know or something it, 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 or foreshadow it, we don't know yeah, who knows it could be a dream sequence I don't know maybe <laughs> who knows where the story's gonna end up but um, it kind of looks you know like the barren wastelandish kind of area you know and um, adding into the effects for that you know I, I had some uh, uh, loops of like you know fire burning and stuff that I added in there uh, some kind of uh, really ambient sounding wind that I that I had recorded um, and in order to kind of exemplify Zale coming out of the dream um, I did something simple like kind of automating the volume of all of those elements up near the end when he finally pops yeah. out of the dream so I mean that, that was that fun kind of yeah. yeah yeah that was cool the, the audio kind of just dropped out when he woke yeah. up and it sort of and, and then it was, there really, was, uh, it was sudden it was sudden but it was effective yeah, there, I, there was another um it was already in the audio when i had received the 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 video um it was like a like a chime noise or something that happened when he woke up and that, yeah i talked to i talked to sif about that that's supposed to be a representation for that rabbit so i guess that's okay yeah i mean that ended up working like really good uh to kind of cut to kind of cut through the ambient noises that i had uh that i had put in there Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Um, the yeah that th that worked out really well. The what I was, I guess um. I, I was gonna say you were talking about the footsteps were being mm. were, like sinking them was some of the toughest part. Um, the the one of the hardest parts about. Um, <laughs> one thing is just for this one for this film it was just more tedious than anything. It wasn't really, there wasn't anything super creative to be done with this film. Yeah. Um, the most creative thing. I, no, guess, I mean, that's, that's not a bad thing either. You know, that's that's uh, yeah, not a yeah, bad totally. thing at all. No, it's not. Yeah, it was it's still, just it was still fun to do. And you know, when when you have that much work to do on a project like this, 
you know, seeing it all come together at the end is definitely worth it. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Hard work definitely does pay off. Yeah, in the absolutely. End. Um, the, I, I guess I was just going to say that a lot of your footsteps that you had to do were also off screen. Like most, <laughs> most of the, a, a ton of the shots for, yeah, it was, you know, sinking body movements with, with footsteps when you couldn't see the feet. Um, in some cases, you couldn't even really see the surface they were walking on, so you kind of just had to, to wing it a little bit. But, oh, yeah, that's true, like um, when you first see them by the river and stuff. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. It, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, kind of came, it came out, pretty, came out pretty well. I yeah, think. No, it actually worked out. Yeah, I remember, uh, especially in that running scene, I remember Sif was like, she, every single time she gave feedback to us, like she commented like on something for me every single time. I think yeah. it was like... For for me, she always commented on the whooshes yeah. for the owl. And I think for you, it was always the running. Yeah, right? that, that one scene was like really hard to get through because, I mean, there there are a few moments where you can see his feet, but that's just in the beginning. And you know, that was pretty easy to sync up. But um, sure. making them sound intense while still, uh, you know, it's a fox. Foxes aren't that big. And he's running on yeah. grass, you know. So you got to make it sound big enough, but not make it sound like, you know, he's a giant, you know cat thundering <laughs> yeah. through the you know, you know. yeah yeah it's uh yeah i i guess uh and and the thing was with that scene in particular the running scene mm -hmm. uh when he's chasing the rabbit it's more intense so you kind of i mean there's nothing wrong with making it less realistic yeah um and we we did that a little bit with <laughs> you know you want to talk about you want to talk about realism i mean you know it's it's cartoon animals talking to each other so i mean you have a little you have a little room for some if, some things that might not really, make too much, if this film were realistic sense. it would just be like <laughs> <laughs> just nothing the most boring film of all time <laughs> who doesn't really care about that yeah, it's just, <laughs> that know. rabbit or anything he just wants I mean, to eat it it's it might not be, like you he's know, curious some, some scientific study on why a fox is hanging out with an owl but you know <laughs> And the, <laughs> and you, see in the film in the film you think that he just he's just curious about the rabbit no he wants to eat that yeah, Elvis yeah. is chasing him down because he's like no see I'm toting the rabbit or maybe she thinks she can get the leftovers I mean you know she is an owl yeah. right you know, uh, yeah uh, yeah Alva was actually raised by vultures to, <laughs> to pick at dead bodies of rabbits oh uh, well that, Man, that Sif, escalated I really hope quickly. Sif sees this and she's just like I hope this is like inspiration for Sif's next episode of <laughs> Tales even, of Vale. It just gets darker by each episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the uh, yeah. For me, I think the hardest part was <sighs> there. There were a lot of like production choices that I were I was really unsure about because um, Sif, the animator, and Nick the one who, guy who's doing audio post production <laughs> uh, for those who don't know uh, audio post production is basically mixing and uh, uh, and of a film so like yeah whenever <clears throat> so equalization compression panning so if zale is moving from this left of the screen to the right of the screen you would pan that to the left speaker to the right speaker as it goes kind of thing it, it's it's basically just connecting everything together and making it feel like it's in the world yeah, it's, it's of the film. Bringing, uh, uh, bringing the audio of the film up to standard. Yeah, for... pretty much. It, it's, it's professionalizing it pretty yeah. much. And he did that. Um, we just provided the sounds and he mixes in the music too. And the voices, um, in the proper way. Yeah. Um, which let me tell you, not having to do that was awesome. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> having to worry about recording yeah, the sounds and, and, and syncing them up. No, yeah. it was, it was actually really nice because, um, after you sent me your last bit, I actually had a little bit more to do. Right. And like, there were some things that I was just like, eh, I could do this, but also, you know, have a Nick could help me out too. <laughs> like, so I, he cut me a break there. So I, yeah. I did appreciate that. Um, uh, what was I going to say though? I, I brought up the audio post thing because I got distracted. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's right. The, uh, the whooshes. Um, yes. So, so Sif was saying that. So there was like some scenes where it was just like a kind of sound behind the whooshes. Right. Um, right. And um, basically, what I did, I, I wasn't sure. She wanted it on more parts than I thought was necessary, mm -hmm. and the only reason places I saw it necessary was when the camera was following Elva yeah. or an owl. So. Like in the beginning, when the 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 Elva's mother is flying across the 
uh, ocean and stuff when the camera's following her. I thought it was necessary there. I thought it was necessary when Elf was flying down from the tree when in the chase scene with the rabbit. I thought it was necessary. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I guess she actually, Sif brought up a good point, though. Um, and she she thought that it would, you know, sounds are there to immerse the audience. So yeah. I, I, on some of them, we did end up putting them in where we did see it necessary. Um, and, you know, it, it, with sounds, it's, it's more so like, it sounds as one of those things where you don't really you don't necessarily n- uh notice it unless it's there mm-hmm. and but as soon as you put it in it just connects you so much more yeah, into definitely. the film or <clears throat> film or game or whatever you're putting sounds to um really interesting like that um uh do you want to talk did you have anything that you did for the uh for Zale's sounds that were unique uh, I mean, you know, it was some interesting stuff. Um, I, I know you had, like, the, yeah, the grass I, I, footsteps. That was pretty – that's obviously grass. Yeah, for that, you know, I did um, – I recorded a few instances. Like, I, you know, I took my uh, my H6 outside with the little shotgun mic, and I would just point it at the ground. And yeah. I had um, – uh, I took, like uh, – I did it a couple different ways. Uh, the one that gave me the best results, though, was pretty much just taking, like, a broom – and almost like sweeping over the grass, and then you know I would like you know maybe pat the pat the ground a little bit here and oh, there. Oh, so, that's actually a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that actually makes sense because it's kind of light, like a uh, like maybe like the because his footsteps aren't heavy, so that would actually make a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, having like human footsteps in there wouldn't it, it <laughs> wouldn't it wouldn't sound right. It, just like the the heel and the toe yeah. kind of. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, um, he, did he? What'd you do for the uh, the foley? The, uh, the his fur? Because you did some movement. Oh, uh, the fur was was really just a lot of like blanket sounds. That was okay. that was a really hard one to hit. I mean, you know, because you know, in, in car you, you need you need movement sounds in cartoons. But you know, a, a real fox isn't really gonna make much noise if it turns its head. So you gotta try to you know find something that that fits. And uh, you know, and some some fuzzy blankets that I was kind of just messing around with, rubbing them together, and you know. Yeah, yeah, I. Th- that's a. It's especially hard with something like that because. Um, I don't know about you, but I've never pet a fox before, so I have no idea Dude, what it's you, for. You're, you're, like. you're missing out, man. It's. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you you, no, went, you really went to great lengths for this, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for, like, you know, I, I caught a fox that was going to record its <laughs> movement sounds, and then it wasn't making any, so I let it go, and I just went to some blankets. It just kept trying to escape. All I wanted was some help. I asked nicely. Uh, it wasn't talking to me. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah that, that's what Sif actually did to, like, try and get the original voice out. He was just like, I spent so much time trying to catch this fox, and it just wouldn't talk. <laughs> you know, this owl I want this sound to be as real as... I, I want this, I want this film to be as realistic. <laughs> I wanted this film to be as realistic as possible, you know. Just, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I, I remember you talking about the the actual foley for it, though. And it was you said you did blankets. What were you had some? You did some other stuff before that, though, didn't you? That oh, didn't work um... out. Or was that like your first instinct? I, I forget. Yeah, I had done. God, you know what? I can't remember. And you know, if I if I look through the text messages between me and you, the correspondence, <laughs> I think I might find myself complaining. But it it like didn't work, and it had frustrated me so much that I think I kind of just deleted it from my my mind. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Um, one nice thing about uh, Sif uh, and working with her was that she uh, she really cares about what she. What, what she's putting out what, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah seriously and you know she's not i mean she's not super well versed in sound design um i mean i mean as well versed as like maybe we are yeah but you know she she knows what she, she knows, wants she knows what she wants which is really cool um, yeah, um and you don't see that a lot with a lot of because i mean I, i've done i ahead. do freelance music and sound sometimes mm. for other people and sometimes it's just like so, they, they they'll just take what they can get kind of yeah, thing. Some, which people, is fine. some people don't care, and it's like you know that's good. You're gonna get you know maybe you know my first two iterations, but you know people might not realize that you know if I, if I'm working for you, you 
you know, you have creative say over what you're going to get. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's you know, within, vision, you know? within reason, I'm not going to, you know, you know, put yeah. myself in, oh, I might put myself in a little bit of harm's way to get you sounds, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, you know. need to, you need to get a lion. <laughs> <laughs> you need uh, wind, you need to stand on the hood of a car while it's driving <laughs> through a tunnel and record that. Rules, do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I guess, uh. Yeah, but that was greatly appreciated. Yeah, I've, um, I mean, I've worked with some people who it's just like, oh, all right, thanks for your, you know, first batch of sounds. <laughs> well, all right, you know, if that's if that's exactly what you wanted, then that's exactly what you wanted. Yeah, it, yeah, that, that's pretty much what it is. Um, you know, I, I guess it's uh, it's very respectable. I guess at the time I was kind of just like, because uh, I because it was sometimes like production choices, but it actually turned out to be better in the end. So. Yeah, you know, there's uh, always that, you know, if you know. So I guess you she, know. she's worried about the overall project where, you know, we're just sitting here concerned about the sounds we're putting in. Yeah, so, that's true. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what else? Um, oh, I guess I could talk about my sounds that I did. Yeah. How about um, that? Why, why yeah. are we here? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> so why, why are we here? Come on. Yeah. Why, yeah. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> they, they're here for me. You know? <laughs> um, so for Alva's sounds, I decided to do the, uh, so I had to do the owl, like the flapping of the wings. Mm. And then I also had to do just her footsteps and, and the whooshes, like the big um, wind sounds during the chase scenes, like I explained earlier. Um, oh, and, and the foley, uh, like her feathers moving whenever she like turned her head or anything like that. Yes. Um, what I So for the owl flapping, um, I talked about this in another sound design commentary I did for Beast. Uh, the the Beast film that I did a while ago with a friend, uh, but I took an umbrella and I actually like opened it and closed it for the like for the flapping sound because mm. um, it kind of has the same motion, I guess. Um, it, it worked, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it, it worked for somehow. Uh, but then on top of that, then on top of that, I took a, uh, a another whoosh. So I took a coat hanger and I kind of just swiped like moved it really quickly and it made the whoosh sound mm -hmm. under it so it was a layer of those two together um because without that whoosh it sounded the it didn't sound like it was pushing up she was pushing or the owl alva or the mother was you know pushing any air or anything like that right. it just sounded like it, it sounded bland uh i guess no low end kind of you yeah, know. yeah exactly and, and for stuff where where uh, alva would just move her arm or something like that that's when i wouldn't use the whoosh Right. Um, the uh, and I guess uh, oh, and the for her actual foley sounds, I used a tissue actually. Nice. Yeah. So I like a a uh, one that you blow your nose into. Uh, that's all. That's what I. And then for the footsteps, literally all I did was I I took one of those uh, shish kebab sticks and. Uh, is, is that what it's called? Wait, what am I thinking of? Like the thing that... Yeah, no, sh uh, well, it'd be like, a, a skewer, but... A, a skewer, a skewer, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shush kebab stick. Uh. <laughs> but I, I took one of, yeah, I took one of the skewers and I, uh, and I kind of like broke it up and I created like a little, something that looked like a talon, like a, and I kind of just pressed it into the grass a bunch so it was like, it was really light. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of dragged it around, you know. With all these recordings, you kind of have to... <laughs> You have to make sure that you get everything. So yes. I'm like dragging it all around, around, like hitting it at different velocities. Um, and I just did that on stone and I did it on, um, and I did it on grass and that pretty much covered everything. Yeah, pretty much. For, for Elva. Um, and then the, then the actual wishes of her, of Elva or the mother flying by, I just used uh, mm -hmm. my mouth for that. I just said uh, like a, and I uh, pitched it and processed it in different ways, right. uh, and that actually worked out pretty well. Um, and Nick, Nick, the audio post guy, actually ended up asking for more though, uh, more whoosh sounds because just to add more layers. Yeah, right. Um, it's understandable. You, you know what? One thing that I kind of regret not doing in this a little bit. Um, I don't know about you, but I did. I, I didn't use a whole lot of stereo. Um, recordings uh, every, a lot of it was mono yeah I mean you know I've it, at least from you know what we were you know the way I learned is 
you know those smaller sound effects and and stuff for yeah i guess there wasn't really anything huge yeah you know i was using a shotgun mic for most of my stuff i mean if i you know maybe double mic some of the things you know um but you know i just had the one shotgun mic attachment on the uh the zoom h6 that i was using that records into mono um yeah any of the backgrounds and stuff i recorded though that all came out stereo yeah and i the whooshes that i did the uh for the owls i did stereo too Mm -hmm. so those those were probably like the biggest sounds that we had right um i'm trying to think what else we could say Um, Um, i mean uh, that's a little interesting thing about at the end you know when uh zale steps on that book oh sure the the paper um you know like i said i I was home uh in pennsylvania recording a lot of this stuff and uh i was at you know my, my parents house and my mom is into a lot of the uh she does some stuff where she'll you know she'll find like really old things and then like repurpose them and uh you know make cool stuff out of them but i was you know kind of rooting through the garage and i found some like really old looking paper and i was like this looked perfect it was almost like a scroll and i kind of just you know rolled that across the uh the garage and i you know set the mic up and i was you know tapping on it i was using my hand at one point and i had like a um, like a kitchen spoon, <laughs> too. And, Did you know, we end up using that at the end? Uh, yeah, you used what? I think the, um, the spoon. I think. Okay. Oh, uh, it funny. was definitely you know it definitely came from the 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 paper. Okay. Uh, that I because I remember Sif said something about like. Yeah, uh, at one point I had um. There was something else in there. It was like almost like crumbled paper, and it sounded too leafy. Oh, okay, that's yeah, what it was. And that, that was it. And then, you know, looking at it, that makes more sense. And I was definitely a lot more satisfied with what I had done the second time around. It, you know, I found something that kind of represented the... Yeah, yeah I mean, the, bo- the book he steps on looks, you know, kind of old. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 that's definitely... Yeah. Um, I mean, that's what happens when you care about your stuff. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I mean, you know, I, I also, you know, I did the footsteps for the rabbit. That was pretty much the same concept as yeah. sale. I think, you know, just a lighter touch. Um, yeah. And that, you yeah, know, was... the the bush is moving before the rabbit jumps out. And the, the second time he sees him, you know, after the whole, you know, dream sequence in the beginning. Right, um, right. That was literally just a bush, you know, moving outside. This, <laughs> I, I actually, I, re- I had re-recorded that, I think, once I was back down in Florida. And, um there's actually like a natural conservation area right behind my, my little townhouse here. And I just stepped outside. I had to wait for the neighbor's um, air conditioning unit to shut off because I kept picking up sounds from that. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I was just using like a, like a stick kind of, I set up the mic and I was kind of just brushing along the bushes and, you know, got some, some pretty cool sounds like that. But, nice. <laughs> yeah, That's cool. Yeah. Um, I guess, uh, gonna say something um yeah there i don't think there's anything else um uh, do you have anything else i mean you I, know I, big footsteps <laughs> yeah. it's pretty I much mean, it oh i did footsteps oh nice nice yeah <laughs> did i tell you about the footsteps oh uh, no please <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh some of the sounds actually were provided by sif uh, she actually had them beforehand. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like the the river sounds in the film, I was not able to get because I am in kind of city life, uh, so there wasn't really a good place to get a clean recording. Mm-hmm. That was the biggest thing for me, man, because there aren't any forests or anything around here. Yeah, for a lot of the ambiences. Um, oh, I was loving it when I was in Pennsylvania, man. That yeah. <laughs> You know, my family yeah. just moved into a farm, so we have like you know four or five acres to ourselves. Oh, that's there, awesome. You know, no traffic. It's great. Perfect. Yeah, it, but yeah, I don't know. It's just so I, I don't know. I, I was relying on a lot. I guess uh, that I, I couldn't record anything. There was no rivers. There's no uh, forests. I had to use. I don't. I don't know. It was a little complicated mm-hmm. for the ambiences, but it, it worked out in the end. Yeah. Uh, I think that's again if you just footsteps for you that's about it for you yeah uh yeah. What, what that you know the little uh instance where uh, in the beginning i provided that sound where um uh elva's mom hits the uh hits the the water oh yeah yeah, yeah i mean that you know i just filled up my sink with water 
around. Yeah, because I was just looking for something, you know. I didn't have anything, uh, hey, dude, anything on deck for that, and that, that worked. Yeah, it's so. kind of like the. Um, <laughs> it reminds you know how like the Titan the movie Titanic that was actually like filmed in a bathtub. Never saw it. Or like a in, like a pool. <laughs> it's kind of funny how that's just like. Yeah, they, they you make know, it look like a huge ocean, yeah, but then it's just, just like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just a bathtub yeah, I should probably see that movie at this point huh I mean everybody's <laughs> seen that, you know, I've never seen the Titanic <laughs> it's a great movie really sad but I know, heard you know dude I turns spoil, some purple I won't spoil end. anything but <laughs> <laughs> um well thanks for watching whoever stuck around this long yeah, absolutely thank you <laughs> yeah. um do you have any plugs that you want to put in back I or? mean you know if you you know want any inf- more information on me or uh you know contact information i got um a website just mtowens.com um you know if ryan's putting this up on youtube i'm sure he can leave a link in the description yeah yeah i will right. um and, and i'll do you have facebook or twitter or anything like that that you want to share <laughs> uh no no, no I, don't. Okay. <laughs> I, I should probably get on twitter i, I tried a couple years ago and i just couldn't you know it's it's difficult it's twitter's like my least favorite to I, when I when I'm using Twitter, I, you know, uh, when I would use Twitter, I felt obligated to always be tweeting. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to keep. I just like to live in the moment, man. You know, I don't. Yeah. Wanna, you know. <laughs> Dude, just tweet that. Just tweet that right now. <laughs> uh, the uh, Mac does uh, sound design for films and uh, uh, mostly video game, games. games. But, yes, mo- mostly film. video games, but he um, he decided to step out of his <laughs> my realm zone. of video games. No, he's actually. He actually does films too. Um, he's just as comfortable. Um, so yeah, if you guys need that, just send him a message on his website. Uh, it has his contact info, I believe. Right? I'm not just saying that. No, I, I made a website, and then you know, you there's like there's there's a map, and you have to follow it. You can send <laughs> you, you can send a carrier pigeon, your, you know, to your address, <laughs> like, and no, you have to find you. <laughs> all my information is up on my website. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you guys want. To hire Mac, do that. Uh, yes, if you want to besides hire that, uh, and oh, I'll link the uh, the video uh, for this film in the description, uh, and I'll put a link to Nick standing if you need some audio post work. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so thanks for sticking around, everyone. Yeah, absolutely. And thanks for watching and such. Well, see ya. <laughs>